Yo, Adam. Yo, what's up? How was your Thanksgiving? It was really great, actually. Good you, food. You you lost a lot of weight. You're the only person I ever <laughs> ever known that's lost weight over Thanksgiving. So Congrats. Tight. Thanks. I'll, I'll, sh I'll share my hack with you in a minute. I'm Adam Manis. And I'm Peter Martin. And you're listening to the You'll Hear It podcast. Daily jazz advice coming at you. Coming at you the Monday after Thanksgiving here in the U.S. And uh, this is my favorite time of year, man. Mm. I love Thanksgiving. My wife is a great cook and like she goes crazy on Thanksgiving. It's her Super Bowl. It's but her it's World Cup. But it's all over Cup. now, man. Are you cool with that? I'm cool with that because I'll have leftovers for at least the next few days. Uh, right. And uh, and she kind of just keeps it rolling through Christmas. So Nice. I'm down. Cool. Yeah, man. Well, happy post Thanksgiving, happy Monday. Yeah, you too. Good to be in here talking about music. And uh, what's our topic today? Today we're talking about the number one way to quickly improve as a jazz musician. And I'm so glad we are because I really would like to quickly improve. So. <laughs> yeah, so nothing like a little clickbait to get everyone back with us on Monday after the big holiday weekend, right? ABC, B, buddy, <laughs> always be clickbaiting. No, that's not a thing. Well, it's like, you know, we were talking about this and we live in a time <laughs> where everybody wants to improve, which is great. Everybody wants to learn. Not everybody, but a lot of folks do. Okay. I think a lot of our listeners do. And so, like, we're all about that, you know, hashtag ABL, always be learning. Um, uh, ABG, always be growing. I mean, you can you can come up with a lot of them, man. I'm Mr. Hashtag. But no, but the thing about it is, is there, there's a line that you cross in terms of learning and growing, becoming a better musician, becoming more well-rounded. And then this idea of like, you want to hack your way to being a great jazz player. And I think that's kind of a dangerous uh, territory. So when we talk about getting better quickly, sometimes, you know, you want to hack and optimize and skip over steps. And I think that that can be a dangerous thing. That's why we wanted to talk about this today. Yeah, you know, the the, the ironic thing about our clickbaity title here is that, you know, there's really no um, super quick way to learn anything the right way but there are ways that you can optimize it like you were saying and yep. and speed up the pace of your development right you know um i'd love to hear your thoughts on it uh, as we go on here but for me it's like you know patience yeah determination yep those things are the most important thing absolutely for getting better quickly now that seems like an oxymoron like oh i have to be patient to get better quickly well that's why it's called clickbait because uh, we don't actually give the we, we, we only give half of the answer we answer a different question no but this is actually something of real value though yeah. because i think a lot of people feel like oh if i just learn this voicing or if i just right you know do this or next year i'm gonna go in a, the woodshed for eight hours every day right and, you know that's not how this works yeah at all right you know the the fact that the matter is is that you have to have grit and you have to have determination you have to have the patience yeah. to set up your life in a way that you can grow as both a person and a musician right. i don't think there's any anybody i know who's a great musician who actually doesn't have like really strong um uh sense of their own person you yes. know what i'm saying and and even the people who maybe not be like the most outwardly organized or whatever have a system yeah. For themselves. You know? Yeah. 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 So I love that, you know, patience, grit, determination. You know, I would add into that, too. And, and I think that this could fit in with those is that, uh, look, look, first of all, you're not going to get better overnight. It just doesn't happen because being a great artist, being a great musician, being a great jazz player is there's too much depth that needs to be there. You shouldn't even want to get better overnight. If you could do that, it wouldn't be that interesting. You, you, we're trying to get to the point where we have the technique and the ears and and the life experience and all these things to be able to tell a, a compelling and interesting story to a listener through our instruments, through these complicated instruments. There's no way you can do that overnight or even in a week or in a month. This, this is years on years. But when but the number one way to get there as quickly as possible is to start today, I think. That's right. So, yes, we have to have the patience. But if you wait to start, if you're like, well, I, I want to know the best method to do it. I want to know the best hack first. I want to read about how to practice. Spend your time practicing. That's right. You know, don't let the, what is it? Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Totally true. You right? know, bad practice. Look, playing the piano, playing the trumpet, playing any of these instruments. Well, I was about to say don't have any physical um, challenges. I mean, they, they don't have any physical dangers, I should say. They, of course, have physical challenges. Oh, man, my shoulder kind of hurts. No. <laughs> yeah. But this is not like, okay, I want to become a bodybuilder, so I don't need to learn anything. I can just get in there and put as many weights on. No, you That's could right. actually hurt yourself. That's right. Most likely, even if you're not practicing right or perfectly, first of all, you're not going to be practicing perfectly. No you know, we've been doing this for many years. <laughs> I know people that have been doing it 
30, 40 more years than me. They still aren't practicing perfectly. They're better than me. Yeah. But we want to we want to get in there and start doing the work, getting into that habit so that you enjoy the process. The I think the most important thing to take away from this patience thing, this number one way to mm-hmm. improve quickly and why you improve quickly is because if you truly develop this patience and set your life up in a way that the process is what it's all about, you quickly realize that there is no real end goal there's no time where it's like and now i'm good right you're just always you (laughs) exactly and you always need to be working on this part of your life you know on your playing on your music if you want to be as good as you can be that has to be like your goal should be to fall in love with the process we've talked about this before and make that a part of your routine part of your life that's so deeply ingrained that music becomes who you are you know what i mean and that's I, i think when you kind of have that freedom when you know like Oh, okay. If I practice this year, the next year I'm going to move to New York and whatever. No. Like when when you look at things that way, it's not you're never going to do it. No. You're never going to get off your couch. No. But if you can look at it in a way of like I'm a musician, I'll always be a musician. It's part of me, and so I care about that, and so I'm going to take the time every day, just as I shower or read or do things for me that I know helps me become you know the person I am. Then I also practice every morning. You know, like that's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a musician plays music that's right a pianist plays the piano that's a right. saxophonist plays the saxophone they don't talk about it well they may talk about it which is ironic coming from a couple guys that talk <laughs> we never talk about, about it <laughs> <laughs> but i mean we just want to encourage everybody to um you know to get in there now what we do try to do of course is is give you know some techniques in terms of what we practice we want to be improving the process of practice every day and you can you yeah. know and, it, and it's smart to have a game i mean all the things we talk about have a game game plan like the great thing i learned from you that i'd done years ago and started doing again you reminded me about is the keeping the journal i think yeah. we talked about that last year um which is such a great thing because that actually encourages you to just conti- either continue what you're doing or jump right in there mm-hmm. and just keep track of what you're doing because it's almost like you know you're going to be improving that's right you know you're going to be optimizing you're going to be you know, doing that quality control as far as the actual practice routine, but you got to know where you're coming from. How do we know where we're going if we don't know where we're coming from? That's a great point, man. man. much greater than me said that. That's right. No, have a game plan. Also, you know, take the time and the energy uh, to set up your your practice space. I think that's a part of practicing. You can consider that. Right. And to groom it as you're going. Wait, wait, hold on. We'll get into a dangerous area, though. What? Because we're getting into that, like, wait, I can't start practicing yet until I have the perfect space. Some people suffer from that. Don't don't be like that. (laughs) But you need to make... So here's... But here's why I say this, right? Because... Because if you hang out long enough in a barbershop, eventually you're going to get a haircut. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not me, buddy. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but if you have a piano, like for me, like having a place where I have yeah. my piano that I know I have that solitude that I know I can have access to it that's yeah. just for me makes me want to practice more. It makes right. it easier for me to get in there and practice more. You know, make sure that you can, if you have the opportunity to, to like groom a space where it's like your sanctuary for this kind of thing. You know? I, I, no, I like that. And so what I would say for people, because I can already see people saying, oh, I don't have the perfect piano. I don't have whatever. This is the thing. Give yourself a deadline. Actually, give yourself a deadline of today yeah. that I'm going to create. Like, And you might say, like, let's say that you have two hours to practice. But I mean, to your point of having a nice thing, maybe you're going to say, I'm going to take 20 minutes to clean it up and to make it, to put a plant there, to move the piano or whatever you need to do to make it not perfect, but better. Take 20 minutes to do that. And then you give yourself a deadline at 120, I will start practicing. And I do that with with a bunch of things all the time. You got to give yourself deadlines, yep. you know, and that's also going to get you in that routine of practice and you're going to become, you know, like the, the, the whole thing of patience, having patience. You have to be doing something to be patient with. We're not talking about have patience until you start. That's right. No, 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 yeah. because then you're never going to get better. Like you have to have patience in terms of the process. You can't say, OK, I'm going to set up for 20 minutes. I'm going to do an hour and 40 minutes practice and then you're done. And you're like, man, I still suck. You know, that's not patience. No. You know, you, you, but, but you want to, and maybe you're not like, oh, I didn't enjoy the process that much. And I didn't actually know what I was doing except for five minutes out of that hour and 40 minutes. That's fine. Fine. Now, totally. yeah. Now make a note of that in your journal and try to figure out that five minutes. Let's see if you can get six minutes. Come back tomorrow. Day. That's, that's the freedom that this kind of flip of a switch of your mind of being like, uh, you know, I'm not trying to get better at music. I just am a musician and this is what right. I do every day. That's that freedom that comes with it. If you have a bad practice session, your whole life's not ruined. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's it's not your plan to move to New York isn't thrown no. for next year. That's because it's just a part of you. And yeah, I think, and I think, you know, any anything <clears throat> that's really worthwhile, look, this is, we're getting into some corny, but um, Necessa- essential. Necessarily it, corny. But necessarily, <laughs> and necessarily essential 
uh, territory here and that anything that is worthwhile and look we, we're preaching to the choir here I already know like to become a great jazz player is one of the most personally satisfying things it, it can lead to a lifestyle that's extremely satisfying in terms of meeting people and meeting audiences and other musicians all these great things but look it's not going to be easy you know but you can be doing stuff every day and if you're patient you will get there that's you awesome. really will that's great advice, man. I actually, I love this clickbait topic. Of <laughs> the one, because I love, how, I love how you've really turned it on your head, uh, on your head. Uh, we're talking a lot about hair and heads today. No, I love how you turn it on, on its head of like, uh, what's the one thing I should practice to get, or w one thing I can do to get better quickly, and that's to be patient. <laughs> I think right. it's awesome, man, because it's so true. Yep. The quicker that you learn that kind of patience and perseverance, like, you'll start getting better much faster. It's so you ironic. Will. Yeah. And you'll enjoy it. And you you'll go. enjoy it, yeah. And, and the, 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 the other part of it is you're never going to get there if you're not patient. I mean, you can wait until later to learn it, but you're, then you're going to actually miss some time and you're going to put back yourself into a little bit more of a corner. So it's better off just kind of putting on that patience mindset now. But then think of the fact that there really is no there. As soon as, you, as that clicks in that it's part of you, you yeah. start playing like you too. I think it right. could actually affect performances. If yeah. you're trying to play like something you're not and trying too hard or whatever. Yeah. Let you come through, realize Absolutely. that you're the music, you're the musician. And look, all the, all the little actual little hacks and optimizations that we give out all the time and talk about still can apply within this. So, yeah, you have to be patient, but that doesn't mean you can't have some deadlines within the music oh, and yeah. feel like, okay, I want to learn this tune this week. So I'm going to do the X on Monday, X on Tuesday, totally. and then I'm going to have it on Friday. But it, we're talking about patience as far as like the grandiose uh, development of your playing and all yeah. that kind of thing. That But that's all going to be coming. You're going to be having so much fun as you go through that process of incrementally getting better. And then you're going to start to enjoy the patient totally. part of it. There's no, there, yeah, there's no that's shortage. That's called getting old. That's called getting old. <laughs> it is true though, There's but there's no shortage of things to practice. It's one of the beautiful things about playing yeah. this music and and for us playing the piano you know the fact that it's such a challenging instrument lifetime of work ahead of us well it's, it's just like when you're i'm thinking about now like when you're young when you're a kid basically and, and even a, a young adult you know it's very hard to be p patient like when you're looking forward to something good you're like i can't wait till to get here I can't now when you get older you're like oh i can wait for it to get like absolutely. you still look forward yeah. to it but you're like oh no i'm cool why why is everybody <laughs> rushing yeah there's no rush to get there you know it'll be there why my know? kids keep getting taller let's <laughs> calm this this down a little exactly. bit you know what i'm saying exactly well man uh, i love this episode thanks yep. for bringing up this topic uh hope you all got something out of this and yeah. uh you know it's uh cyber monday it is, oh, it yeah, is that's cyber right. monday. It's we cyber talked monday. all last week about black friday we and did. Uh, you know, if you are, if you're now patient and you, you have <laughs> things you want to practice, we might have uh, some things uh, you could practice. That's right. Here at Open Studio, uh, we don't usually uh, go full pitch no. as we have this. Let's past do it week. like last week. We did last week, but we decided to extend. Well, we have kind of a little different sale to just today. Yeah. Today, and it might it might float until tomorrow because of people in different time zones. That's right. Like Tuesday morning. But uh, really, what this is about is trying to make all of our course offerings the most accessible that we can for people that want to get gifts, maybe for somebody gifts for yourself, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But these are all things to help you along on your jazz journey. These are not things. This is not the magic bullet that you're going to buy a course from us. And then you're going to be amazing by the end of the week. Be patient, be, be patient. <laughs> yeah. But these are going to be things that hopefully inspire you a little bit. Yeah. Maybe you're, you're down or looking for an idea. Um, you know, Christian McBride can can throw a little idea, or just you know, you can enjoy the playing there. Peter Martin, throw some Peter ideas. Martin, maybe yeah. you know, and and just something for you to work on if you don't have access to a local teacher. That's right. And so you know, are we gonna are we gonna tell what the deal is for Cyber Monday? I mean, the cat's out of the bag. From fifty percent off. It's fifty percent off Every, everything. Everything is fifty. Well. I think most everything. Most is everything is fifty yeah. percent. All the off. lifetime courses. Yeah, we have sub subscriptions that are twenty five percent off, which is actually off. a really great deal if you're into one of yeah. these annuals. These are uh, our biggest savings of the year. Yeah, biggest savings. Of and the year. that's why we're really telling you about this, yeah. not to uh, hawk it too much. But right. if you've been on the fence, if you've been wanting to buy something, do not be patient. Do it today. <laughs> do it today. <laughs> Just because you're going to save a bunch of money. So yeah. uh, unless yeah. you're rich, do it whenever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, we can't be giving this no, stuff away that, all the time. No, man. You're, if you're a like a met, met like a really rich woman or man yeah. that's like you know you're, you're, and you're talking to them and i mean i've been around i'm talking about some like really i mean i you know i, I mean richer than me that's like a lot of people that's a lot of folks but i me mean too, yeah. um you're talking to them and you're like man i got this great deal they're kind of looking at you like what's the deal about that <laughs> all right so if you're independently wealthy wait till tomorrow or wednesday <laughs> but, but if not if if not or, or 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 you like to save money anyway just for the sport of hit it, us up join us today at openstudionetwork.com slash bf oh yeah nice yeah, yeah yeah there we go all right well till tomorrow we'll hear it